This is Angela Prophet. I'm live on Periscope, and I'll give everybody just a second to get situated. We're going to talk about how to get rid of time wasters. And I'm going to talk for about seven minutes, and then I'll take your questions at the end. So be sure and jot them down. Either take notes on your phone, or heaven forbid, you have to use pen and paper. <laughs> but save your questions for the end, and I'll be sure to get to them all. And if I don't answer your questions, um, be sure to repost them. So I want to let you guys know, again, I'm an event and productivity consultant and a coach in the wedding and event industry. And I want to thank you so much for joining this Periscope with Wedding Market Broadcast. And again, share with your friends, share with other people. I'm going to talk really, really fast. So if you miss something, just again, uh, message me at the end and I'll be sure to answer all of your questions. So again, today we're talking about how to get rid of time wasters for bigger profits with wedding market. So I have about seven tips for you guys and I have about seven minutes so I'm going to set my timer so I don't go off on tangents. I'm real good at that. Um, but and again we're going to have about five minutes for questions at the end. Again if I miss it, repost it. So time is money, right? Time's really, really important. It's something that we can't ever buy back no matter what we're doing. So time wasters is a really big thing for me. I try not to waste my time. And through the years that I've been coaching and consulting, I've gathered lots and lots of feedback from all of the planners that I work with. And I find a few common themes. So it's just not me that think these things about all these time wasters, but these are my top seven. So the first thing is go paperless. We don't use any paper in our office at all. And we use probably about 30 free applications, 30 apps with our phone and our iPad um, to make sure that we remain paperless and I hate clutter. And so one of the things that we do, we create Dropbox folders and we share those with our clients. We also use Google Drive, which is a free application. If you have Google or a Gmail, you've got Google Drive. You may just not know it, um, but we start all of our documents on Google Drive so that you don't have to have everything living on your computer. Also, we use various software systems for paperless documents, such as contracts. There's HelloSign, DocuSign, EcoSign. So there's lots of ways that you can have your clients sign their name on all of their contracts and then you can put their contracts in their Dropbox folder which some of my clients say that's my manila folder or my binder for each event that I do um, so think of a Dropbox folder for each client like that and then back up your computer be sure to back up your computer use Carbonite or Time Machine and by the way if you go by an Apple, like a Mac computer, the time machine, you got to set it up. So make sure you get, get yourself a hard drive and set it up. I learned that the hard way. Time waster number two is just productivity. Doing the same thing over and over. Um, I think it's called insanity and then expecting a different result. So if you don't like the way something's going, change it. And I'm constantly Googling new things and new processes if I'm frustrated with something. I'll give you an example, like monthly bills and monthly payroll. Um, schedule it, like auto schedule it. Have an accountant help you so that you don't have to continue to do the same thing over and over. You use a spreadsheet, keep up with your budgets. There's a free app called Checkbook Register, that's what we use. Um, a lot of my clients use QuickBooks that um, are in business, so that's another one. It's a little bit harder for me to use QuickBooks. My accountant does it, but I don't do it. I like just the spreadsheet on Google Doc. Um, I hate grocery shopping. I think it's a huge time waster. So using Amazon Prime to pre-order everything. Um, my mom thinks that I'm a little bit spoiled and having things delivered, but my time is way better used on my clients and me helping other people rather than sitting in traffic and in lines. And my last big thing with productivity is templates. Have a template for everything, all of your documents so you're not creating these templates over and over. There has to be a recipe that you use in your business. Time waster three is personality and employees and team members and vendors, hiring the wrong people or hiring your friends or try doing it all by yourself. Like make sure that you hire the right people 
And we all go through those periods when we're building our business where we use our family, our friends, and it's not always the right fit. Unfortunately, it just ruins relationships sometimes, which that sucks. Um, so as I've gotten older and wiser, um, I've found several methodologies that I use for communication, for hiring the right people for their strengths and not focusing on their weaknesses. So I use True Colors, Strength Finders, there's the Disc Profile, there's lots of great things out there that you can use to make sure that you're hiring the right person for the job that you're seeking. Time Waster 4, spending time every day on social media and getting the little notifications constantly, turn it off. Turn off the notifications and look at it once a day or maybe twice a day. Um, I have a lot of planners that struggle just keeping up with social media and they really don't have the funds to hire someone yet to do it professionally. So Hootsuite, Hootsuite's awesome. It's 10 bucks a month and I know that you might not get as many views on Facebook and whatnot, but hey, it's better than nothing. Like we use Hootsuite for our face, every Facebook page, our business page, personal page, wedding page, for Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Instagram. There's um, something called Tailwinds, I believe, that you can now even schedule pins on Pinterest, which is awesome. And even with the video platforms with Vimeo and YouTube, you can schedule those too. So I try to take the first of every month and schedule something all month long to make sure that I'm constantly, constantly popping up in people's feeds, letting them know, hey, we're busy, we have things going on. Um, I just love to inspire others. And then blogging, WordPress, WordPress is awesome. And again, you can schedule your post. So if you really focus on scheduling things and not worrying about every single day the social media uh, and, and stay away from the distractions, that can really, really help. And again, you can set up your notifications on your phone, but like when I pull down on my screen at the end of the day, I have all of my notifications organized really nicely so I can see them all in one glance and I don't have to open nine different apps, which is awesome. Time waster five, email jail. I don't know if you all get hundreds of emails a day. Um, that's what my life used to be like until I made some changes. And so constantly being distracted and on your email, try to set aside a few times a day to check it or better yet, if you have an assistant or someone that you trust to monitor your email who can regularly answer your clients and build a relationship with your clients is even better. Something that we do in our office is a daily bullet. So I really don't look at email that much. That's not really my role in the company. My role in the company is to meet with people and clients and sell jobs and I read one email a day. And that email from my assistant has everything that's happened that day, all the questions that she wasn't able to answer, and I'm able to get all the responses back to her, which helps teach and train her, especially if you have an intern program and you're molding them into possibly hiring them to work with you. It's a great way to get them to understand how you think and how you answer your clients. And set the expectation with your clients to let them know that, hey, your life is not dictated by email. Okay, that was my seven minutes, I have to hurry. Um, by sharing documents with your clients, you can really save time, cut down time, sharing Dropbox and Google Drive. There's this great app called Sane Later where you can really prioritize your email inbox and it's way better than smart boxes. Time waster six, this is a big one, track your time. For years, years, I've had many mentors telling me, Angela, you gotta track your time. I never did it until about three years ago and it really changed my life, it changed my business, it changed my company. Um, I can't say it enough. Track your time, know what you're doing and be religious about it. Make sure whatever you wanna do personally or professionally and your goals, make sure they're on your calendar so it's actually gonna happen. And make sure that you're managing your time appropriately. Like networking, for instance, there's networking parties every day so or every night. So you really have to manage that and get something out of it. Okay, last one, big time waster number seven, not utilizing software and not investing in yourself and your company. There's so many awesome automated softwares out there that can help you with marketing campaigns like Emma and MailChimp. We use Infusionsoft. And there's several applications, like thousands that go along with it. Um, which, yeah, some of them are free and some of them cost, but it takes money to make money, right? Um, some of my clients, they love Grasshoppers, 800 number. 
Um, if you don't have an assistant yet, there's this great website, callruby.com, and it's a phone service. You write scripts for them, and they'll answer the phone for you if you don't have time to answer phone calls if you're in meetings all day and if you don't have an assistant. And the last big thing I'll say is password management. We use one password to manage all of our passwords so we don't have to remember them all. Um, so hopefully these things were helpful. If you guys have any tips for me, I would love to hear from you. And I would like to take questions, comments. Let me know how I can help you guys. Does anybody have any interesting tips or things that they use to help them not waste time? You can tweet your favorite tip too and make sure you use the hashtag wedding market. Oh, can you give us an app for contracts? So DocuSign, HelloSign, you basically upload your PDF um, in there and then you can send it to your clients and they can sign it with their finger. And then th there was a question that came in about email. If you guys can post that again. What was the name of the program? The, oh, uh, Hootsuite. We schedule social media through Hootsuite. And then... What wastes the most? Oh, what wastes the most time? Just distraction, pure distraction. It's a huge, huge problem when you're not focusing. If you focus and you cut out all the distractions and you really manage your time, um, you're going to be unstoppable. But letting distractions in, can you spell Hootsuite? That you got it right. H o o t s u i t e. Yes, yeah, Sprout Social is a great one for social media scheduling as well. I have a few friends that use that. Oh, cleaning out emails. Oh my gosh, Sane Later is amazing. And then they have, you, you drag emails to Sane Later, and then they have Sane Black Hole. So if you get emails and you don't want to unsubscribe because then they know you're a real person, um, you can drag that email to Sane Black Hole and you'll never get emails from that company again. Yes, same. Like, emails make me go insane from getting hundreds of emails, and so it's called Sane Later. It's a great company. I think it's 30 or 40 bucks a year. Can you please tell me the phone? Oh, the phone message service. It's Call Ruby. So C-A-L-L-R-U-B as in boy, Y dot com. And Grasshopper is, is what we use for our voicemail service as well. Any more questions? So next up, we have B.B. Webb, who's going to be joining us in just a few minutes. And again, if you learned anything at all, if I helped you guys, let me know. Um, be sure you can check out my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos over there walking you through how to go paperless and how to be more productive. That is my passion, is helping people be more productive in their business. And if you need help coaching, let me know. Um, and I also want to tell you about something that I'm going to be doing again with Wedding Market in just a couple of weeks. We're going to have a webinar on how to get rid of time wasters for bigger profits. But it's going to be more of an extended version of this today. So this was just a really quick teaser. And um, Christina Goebel with Plan the Day is going to be joining me. It's an amazing software that does a ton of stuff. It's almost like you're personal assistant. So it's going to be Thursday, January 28th, and 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can register to join the event at WeddingMarketBlab.com. And I believe BB is up next. We'll be starting with her. She's going to talk about planning your success about tools and goal setting to take you into the new year. Are you ready, BB? Yes, uh, um, someone asked, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, it's just my name, Angela Prophet, P-R-O-F-F-I-T-T. Oh, and someone said, are you married? I'm married to my job, to my company. It's my life, pretty much. 
<laughs> okay, I believe we have BB Webb coming up to join us live now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all the hearts. I'll see you soon. Oh, people with families. <laughs> My degree's in psychology. So I worked in a mental health hospital and a morgue. So I work with lots and lots of different types of people.